Hey, what's going on, chess lover? This is Maurice Bishop Chess, and y'all know my slogan, life is a game of chess. Um, guys, I have a big announcement for y'all. I actually have the Sneaky Black Lion uh, video course. Um, it's available now. Uh, make sure you cop that in the description box. Uh, there will be a link below. Also, guys, if you're watching my content for the first time, make sure you turn on that notification bell on. And also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Peace. Chess lover, this is Maurice Bishop Chess, and y'all know my slogan, life is a game of chess. All right, guys, I want to uh, share with y'all um, this amazing um, Black Lion game that I played against uh, Scandinavian 11. So without further ado, we actually going to get started. All right, guys, so uh, my opponent plays E4, um, D6, Knight F3, E5, Bishop C4, uh, Bishop E7. Um, guys, uh, in my uh, Black Lion course, um, I actually talked about how um, White goes to Bishop C4 to uh, do some tactical shots, you know, if the um, Black doesn't play um, Bishop E7. So it's pretty crazy, but the right move is Bishop E7. Um, D4, Knight B to D7. Um, he castles King side, and I go H6. Uh, H6 is for uh, to prevent the Knight from going to G5 and also preventing the Bishop from going to G5. But also, g5 is used to do a pawn storm as well. Uh, knight c3, c6, uh, h3, uh, knight f6, queen e2, and queen c7. And obviously, as y'all can see in this position, uh, we're just um, overprotecting the um, pawn on e5, you know, maintaining that center, but also giving ourselves some space. Um, rook d1 and then g5 now guys um it probably would have been a, a lot better for me to just go b5 um if he goes um bishop b3 i do have a5 trapping um the uh, light square bishop um even if he does goes um a um a4 then i got b4 so now this knight um is pretty much limited if he goes knight a2 uh, maybe better knight b1 but uh it gives us some um, activity especially with knight b6 um guarding this square but also we're trying to hit with bishop a6 so there's a lot of things that the black line can do on the queen side as well on the king side so a lot of things so just keep that in mind guys um but in this case i didn't do that i just go g5 um my opponent goes um a3 i go knight f8 b4 and that's when i hit b5 um after bishop b3, guys, I could have went just a5. Um, I could have went a5, uh, which would have been a great move. Uh, if he decides to take, that will be fine because I'll go rook captures a5, and I'm actually having the open a file, so which would be great. And also, it will prevent um, white from going a4 uh, because I do have a captures b4, and it's not like he could take back the pawn because his rook is undefended on the a file. All right. So G four, um, H catches G four, Bishop catches G four, and then uh, D five is played. Um, the reason why D five is played, guys, because um, he wants to undermine uh, this B five point. All right. So I go Knight G six. Of course, logically, he goes D catches C six, and I go Knight H four. Um, he goes Knight D five, and I go. Knight captures d5. Now you're probably wondering, um, uh, what about, uh, maybe you know, knight captures b5. Um, yeah, I could go queen captures c6. Um, if he try to do something funny, uh, with bishop a4, then most likely, guys, I'm gonna go um castle. So I wouldn't have to worry about it. So, which is um still um nothing to be afraid of at all because this bishop will be undefended. So, uh, which is still great. Um, I still have a great position with that being said. All right, guys. So uh, knight catches d5, e catches d5, and I go knight catches f3. Um, I actually did this too quick. I realized that I did the wrong uh, piece move or I did the wrong capture. The right capture was actually bishop catches f3. Um, the reason being is um, after g catches f3, uh, queen c6 is um, inevitable. Like, it it's just it just <laughs> it's just doing a lot guys because even if f4 if he tries to go f4 maybe to try to 
bring his queen out. Um, there's nothing he can really do to stop this um, mate on G2. Uh, I mean, there is. I mean, he can stop it or whatever, but um, like, for instance, if he goes queen f1, I have knight f3 checkmate. Um, if he tries to do something like, um, let's say, f3, guys, then I do have this um, this um, check on g8, whereas if he does come here, um, I do have this um, rook on g2 uh, with a check, and then I'm actually uh, winning his queen. So even if you don't mate him, you'll win his queen, but you'll be mating him very soon. All right. So... Um, Hold on. Also, I wanted to show y'all something else. Even after um, this, if I go queen c8 and he goes king f1, uh, if he tries to get away, then I still have queen h3 check. And if he goes king e1, then I have knight catches f3. So the king can't go here because of the queen and definitely can't go to d2 square because of the knight. So, of course, white is forced to give up his queen and I'll take his queen. And then, of course, we'll be mating him uh, very shortly. All right. So in this case, uh, I go to knight captures, uh, and then I go bishop h3, uh, f4 is played, and then rook g8 check. Uh, king h2, uh, bishop g4, um, I'm hitting the queen, and he goes f3. Uh, so I go bishop h5, bishop e3, uh, I castle queen side. You might think that white may be doing something on the queen side, but he's really not. So he goes rook g1, maybe to try to exchange the rooks down. Um, I go bishop h4, which is actually a trick, which you're about to see. Uh, queen catchers b5, check. Bishop catchers, um, I, um, I'm sorry, I said queen catchers b5, check. There's no check. Uh, he takes a pawn, but I go bishop catchers at 3. Um, the queen gets me in check. Uh, king b8, queen b5, king, king a8, queen d3. And then I go e4. Um, to sustain or to maintain this bishop on f3. So, guys, this is where everything comes down to play. Um, after queen d4, I go queen e7 because there is a trick uh, with this um, bishop h4 bishop. Uh, my opponent tries to go c7. The whole point of c7 is to try to meet me on c7. Um, even if I do take, uh, his plan is to go bishop a4 and then go bishop c6. Uh, and then probably uh, keep pushing his pawns down to break open uh, my queen side. But guys, I do something else um, in this position. Um, after c7, I actually go bishop g3, which is uh, <laughs> it, it's a move that you can't stop at all. Um, after rook captures on um, g3, uh, queen h4 check. Uh, and then, of course, my opponent resign. Because if he tries to block with uh, rook h3, I go rook g2 check. And then after king h1, this is checkmate. Or, guys, if he tries to go to uh, king h1, I just go king or uh, queen captures g3 check. And if he goes, actually, he can't go h3. The only place he could go is f1. So if he comes here, this would be check. And then king e1, then queen e2 with checkmate. So, yeah, guys, so this uh, really ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah, and there's really nothing he can do. Even if he decides to go uh, king h1, uh, queen h4 is actually still checkmate. So, guys, I hope you enjoy uh, this video. Um, I heard, uh, I hope you have learned a lot um, in this game. Uh, definitely, um, if you're... Uh, if you really like this video, just like, share, comment, you know, definitely let me know what you think. And also, guys, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Peace.